Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Tuesday the 3rd of December 2024. I hope you are feeling okay and and, and at your healthiest and fittest at the moment. I'm not actually. Uh, people who are long-term listeners to this show um, will note that I have occasionally told, mentioned about my problems with anxiety. I don't have problems with depression, but I have throughout my life suffered from um, periods of anxiety, uh, leading sometimes to panic attacks and um, other feelings of, uh, I don't know, malaise, let's say. Now, I know uh, that this is irrational, um, but you know, <laughs> knowing that something is irrational doesn't sometimes doesn't help can help a bit um i one of the reasons that i play these games of sudoku occasionally especially if i'm not feeling that great is to concentrate on the game itself and take my mind away from something um i don't know why i'm feeling um rather anxious at the moment um i don't think it's to do with the global horrific <laughs> political situation that the world finds itself in it's not really that it's just a combination of factors and um, and the uh, fact that I didn't sleep very well last night. Uh, I heard a mewing cat, I think it's a kitten, several times in the night. Woke me up, I don't know how many times, four or five times in the night. I mean, I had really no sleep and I had diarrhea for a couple of days. And so uh, I think there's a combination of health factors making me uh, quite nervous. I'm telling you all this stuff. Don't tell anyone, will you? <laughs> Um, I tell people this stuff because uh, I, I know that other people suffer with much worse problems than me. Um, but um, sometimes the game of Sudoku can help. I think um, people who suffer from stress and this kind of thing, you know, it's a game that we can use uh, our cons powers of concentration on and therefore... Uh, for a while take ourselves out and away from any particular problems that we face um, and I think that normally happens to me normally I, I if I'm not feeling very well and I play a game of Sudoku afterwards I'm feeling a little bit better at least a little bit and uh, I'm hoping that's gonna happen this morning by the time I finish this game I will have talked myself out of the ridiculousness that I've somehow talked myself into I mean subconsciously <laughs> Life is weird. Human beings are weird. Uh, you just have to accept it. People are weird. Um, what's going on in the world? I see in the UK a van load of pies have been stolen. Um, and the uh, owner of the pies is asking that whoever stole the van, please give the pies to those uh, in need. Um I'm not sure if he's doing this because he knows that that will lead to the arrest of the people who, who stole the van. You know, if suddenly somebody starts giving you pies, I think they might be caught, don't you? Giving away pies, they might be caught. And uh, I hope also that it's not some kind of pub publicity stunt that they've cooked up, excuse the pun, uh, just to get um, you know themselves in a newspaper. Let's hope not. Uh, anyway, let's get on with the game of Sudoku. Anyway, so if my voice sounds a bit um, down, um, um, I'm not depressed. I'm just feeling a little bit anxious, which I'm hoping will pass as the day goes on. Uh, let's hope so. All right. Uh, now, the first thing that I notice is a New York Times style of thing. We've got three and seven blocking up here, three and seven blocking up here. So we are going to get three and seven in those squares, and we're going to end up with two squares that are not three or seven. They have to be five or nine. So the nine blocking across here, we'll put nine here. Oh, excuse me, hit the right key, and five in this square here. Uh, what digits are missing in this pair here, in this couple of squares here? We're looking for... 2 and 7. Any help on 2 or 7? No. Alright, let's have a look and see what we're looking for down here. We're looking for 1, 2 again, and 6. Okay, let's go with threes blocking across here, across here, down and up. Five, 
4 blocking this square and this square and 4 blocking across here will give us 4 in this column. I forgot to mention what game this is, didn't I? This is the medium level Sudoku puzzle from The Guardian. But you knew that because you clicked on the video anyway. 4 is blocking across here, that will give me a 4 here. 4 up here, 4 across there and 4 down here. I don't want to play this game too quickly for reasons uh, that are hopefully apparent. Uh, I can't play the New York Times game yet because it's not out. Oh, actually, it's not that far away. Uh, what? Oh no, not yet. No, I've got an hour before I could play that. So uh, this is the earliest published game. Uh, actually, we've got two blocking down here and two up here, and so two blocking across here. We'll put two. Uh, yeah, into one of these squares here, blocking across there, so that will give us two in that square. <sighs> two across here, and two up here gives us two up there. Okay, let's go through the digits, shall we? I went out for a walk this morning to try to relieve my anxiety and uh, the traffic was horrendous out there. I had to wear a mask. We've got health warnings on our Bangkok uh, pollution at the moment for this week. Um, heavy uh, pollution is expected the whole week. Smog um, predicted. So um, making sure I wear a mask to go out, of course. I usually do anyway. Oh, so I've discovered something. We've got 8, 2, and 7 blocking across here. So we've got 8, 2, and 7 in those squares. Which means that this is not 8, 2, or 7. It's got to be 1, 4, 9. Uh, so let's see if we can do anything with the 1s. We know that 1s are in these squares here. We get 1s there. Fours are not going to make any difference. How about the nines? We've got nines here, nines there, nines have to be down there. Uh, no, all right, didn't seem to reveal very much. How about our twos then? So we've got twos there, is that giving me anything? No, nope. eights. Uh, we've got 8 across here and 8 down here, so we can get an 8 in this square. 8 blocking across here, 8 up here and 8 across there, so we'd get an 8 here.
okay we've got eight blocking this square and this square so in this column here there is our eight eight to the bottom cross here and there Okay, we've got five blocking across here and down here. That puts five into that square. We've got one blocking down here. Gives me a one over here. We've got one across here. That puts one into this square. One up, one down. Says that this is a one. And the last digit here is nine, I think. And coming back to the ones, we've got one across here and one up there. Last number to place here, uh, six. Six blocking up gives me a six in that square there. Missing number here, five, nine. Nine blocking across here. There's a nine, there's a seven to finish the column. Okay, over here we are looking for uh, 7 and 9. So 9 blocking down gives us 9 in this square, 7 in that square. 7 blocking up means that must be 7, and the missing digit here is um, 6. 6 also blocking across here gives me 6 there, and the missing number here is 5. 5 back this way puts 5 into this square, missing number here is Nine. Uh, three, seven. No, that's not good. All right. Well, we're a bit unbalanced, aren't we? We've got a middle section missing. Whole middle, whole chunk in the middle missing. Unusual for a medium level game. Uh, we don't have any completed digits yet, but I think uh, so. Let's see. What we've got what actual digits we've got in the middle here. We've got a nine, one nine. We've got one five, one three, one six. One four, one two, one eight. That's only one of each. That's pretty unusual. <laughs> okay, let's see. So let's take the threes then. Five and nine. Okay, what we're going to have to do is five and nine blocking down here, five and nine blocking across here. So we know that this is a pair of five and nine, and this is not going to be five or nine. The only number left for this row is one. Uh, we've got one blocking here. Yeah, we've got one blocking up here and nine blocking down here. We've got one and nine across here. So we know that's one and nine. Now we can work out the middle digit here, which is four. <laughs> I rather like this. Four blocking up here, four blocking up here, four across this way and this way will give us four in that square. Uh, five across here, five across there, and five up there means this is a five. Seven across this way gives us seven there, and this will be a three. Last number to place here is eight, I think. Eight down, eight up, and eight across will give us an eight there. Four and eight are finished. We've got a couple of numbers already done. two blocks this square here we need a two in this row we'll put it there seven we'll finish the row Uh, 
still can't quite see the uh, way forward. What's missing from these three squares? Three, six, seven. All right, I think I'm just going to click on the digits. Probably that's the easiest thing to do now. Let's go through the numbers still needed. Two. Oh, yeah, that's it. Two up there. Okay, this is a seven. Three down this way and there. Uh, one blocking up here. Last number to get there is a six. Six across here. One blocking down here. Uh, this is a nine, and nine blocking down puts nine in that square. So, a very enjoyable medium level puzzle. I'm not sure if I found that quite difficult because I'm not up to scratch. Uh, concentration wise or just because it was a quite an interestingly designed puzzle either way uh, i rather enjoyed it um, hopefully i'll be back with other games of sudoku today if i'm feeling uh, better and it, or if i'm not feeling better <laughs> but anyway if you hear me kind of sounding a bit strange today uh, you'll probably know why okay that's it take care bye bye